today we're looking at Moon OS. Now Moon OS came out on January 1st of 2011 and it is another Ubuntu based distro. Now Moon OS is becoming one of those distributions that a lot of distributions are turning into nowadays and that is a very slick elementary style desktop, uh, docky by default and many other features and improvements that make it a much more attractive desktop to the average user. So I'm going to start out by talking about the look and feel. Now the look and feel of Moon OS, I would say it's very fresh. What I mean by that is the color scheme, it's very bright, and of course the icons are the uh, very well known Faenza icon set. And the default wallpapers also uh, reflect a kind of modern, half almost, I get a bit of an Asian ethnic feel to it. We've got some shots here from Cambodia, and we've also got some shots here of um, different uh, cities that uh, have Asian names. So I get the feeling it has a bit of an Asian slant to it, um, or I don't know, Indian ethnic, I'm not quite, I'm not exactly sure. You guys are going to have to fill me in if you come across any details. But its colour scheme is very fresh, it's very easy on the eye, and a lot of the wallpapers are also quite impressive. Okay, next let's talk about the pre-installed applications, because I know this is quite a big part of any distribution, is what it comes with by default. Now, by default we have the standard Ubuntu menu up here in the top, and it looks like regular Ubuntu really, with the, um, with the me menus and the calendars, etc. And of course down the bottom we have our docky, with all the uh, programs already put on it. Now let's talk about what applications come on this operating system. So first of all, in accessories, we've got all the standard Ubuntu stuff, except for Globus Preview and Synapse. So Globus Preview and Synapse. Now Globus Preview is basically, um, when you go into your home folder, you can find a document or a picture. Now I don't actually have anything, but when you press the space bar, it shows a, it shows a preview of that folder that you're looking into. And if you click on a file, it plays the file for you, which is also pretty handy. Now, of course, Synapse is what most people consider to be the replacement, the eventual replacement of Gnome Do. And basically, all you do is you type whatever it is you're wanting to launch, whether it be a document, a web page, an application, or a file folder, and it'll launch that for you. So Firefox, or Banshee, or Music Folder, or downloads, you get the point. And you can even run commands like you can suspend the computer or you can configure your screen savers, any number of things. It practically logs everything that you do through the Zydeco's backend and then uh, brings it up on this Synapse app launcher, which is pretty handy, a very quick way to open applications. The rest of the pre-installed applications are standard Ubuntu except for the GIMP image editor and Shotwell Photo Manager, although it is in Ubuntu, what they've done is they've installed a repo for the uh, for Yorba, the people that make Shotwell Photo Manager. So it is um, it will be to the most recent version when you install this operating system. Uh, and internet, it's all the same, it's all the same here, except for the swapping out of Empathy for Pigeon Instant Messenger, which a lot of distributions are still doing. Uh, Office, standard open Office, and the Evolution Mail and cal Calendar, sound and video, you get Banshee by default instead of Rhythmbox, which is what Ubuntu is moving towards anyway, and you get the Cheese webcam booth as well. Which brings me to the next order of business, and that is that they have experimental support for a new application framework known as the App Shell. Now basically what the app shell is, is it's almost like drag and drop installation of files, a lot like the Mac. Again, I'm comparing a lot to the Mac here because I feel like that's the audience they're aiming at. And you can see here Cheese, Gimp and Pigeon are all branded with this app shell business. Now basically the app shell is that if you download an app shell application, you dump it in this file and it, and it automatically executes everything in the right order. So there's only a one file installation and that's quite helpful. And again, I think this is something that's, although it's experimental, it has great potential to really push usability forward with Linux in general. By default, the Moon OS has its own unique file structure. What they've done is they've renamed the uh, typical folders that you find in a Linux distribution in the root system. So instead of having, instead of having, um, instead of having all these cryptic 
lines, they've renamed it so it's very easy to understand. So your executables are in the executables folder. Kernel settings, libraries, so there's your var, there's your var files, your source, and the settings, which is the etc folder, and the shared, which is obviously shared, and the libraries, which is the lib folder. So you can see that they've sorted out a rather cryptic file system so that anybody who does want to dig into the file system isn't completely lost when it comes to what's in their system and where to find stuff. So I think that's a good step. I'm not exactly sure how it affects stability, etc. From what I've noticed, it has been pretty stable and there hasn't been any chaotic results because of this file system. And I think it's a good step to hold new users' hands a bit and get them going in the right direction. It makes it a bit more like a Mac in that it's easy to understand what's going on in the file system. So I, I'll give them thumbs up for that. Okay, next let's talk about hardware compatibility. Now it detected my wireless connections and my Ethernet connections out of the box, just like Ubuntu would. Since it's got Ubuntu on the back end, it's really got excellent hardware capabilities. Uh, the HDMI port was connected out of the box. Um, and it, of course it does list additional drivers and that will be for the ATI graphics card but I don't generally use them because the 3D acceleration for my ATI graphics card is good enough from the open source driver. Okay next let's talk about multimedia. Moon OS is one of those operating systems which believes in being fully functional so all of your multimedia files will work out of the box and you can see here I'm looking at a file in Globus Preview now one launches Globus Preview by simply selecting a multimedia file or a playable file and simply hitting the spacebar and you get the preview of the video in its native resolution which is extremely handy. So all the multimedia codecs are supported out of the box and this is part of Moon OS's uh, philosophy to create a fully functional desktop straight out of the box. Next we have the software management. Now the software management is just the standard Ubuntu software center rebranded as the Moon OS Software Center. So of course in here you can configure your software sources and just out of interest we'll have a look in that. Now one thing that I did notice, one bug that they've got in here, that you cannot select another server for the repositories just from this. You have to enter in the URL for your mirror manually. So that's a bit of a downer but I'd say that's just got to do with the rebranding of the Software Center. Um, as you can see here they've got the Ubuntu Maverick Meerkat repositories, the security updates, canonical partners, and then they've got a few independent PPAs. One for Nautilus Elementary, which is the default file manager. I forgot to mention that, Nautilus Elementary. Uh, they've also got the Docky Core Stable Repository, Yorba, which is for the Shotwell Photo Manager, and Zydegist, which is the backend for the Synapse App Launcher. And of course, Ubuntu Software Center, or the Moon OS Software Center, is just what you'd all expect. It works, it's very functional, easiest way to install applications on Linux. Enough said. Overall, the system performance and stability has been very snappy. I've found that uh, despite these enhancements such as Nautilus Elementary, Globus Preview, Synapse running on the back end, it still remains an extremely snappy system and I believe it really is taking a step towards being modern, looking nice, performing well and giving a good selection of applications, much like a Mac, as most people are going to be comparing anything cool to OS X. I have noticed some applications crashing, as you can see here we've got a crash report up the top and that was from the software sources closing unexpectedly. Again, I think that might be a bug, so I think they might be able to sort that out in, uh, in future updates. So overall, Moon OS is a very solid release. I think it's really indicating a direction now where Linux distributions are trying to compete with mainstream OSs in terms of looks and also in functionality in ways that it's previously been hard to do. The Fanza icon theme adds a nice touch and it looks nice, it performs well. There's really not a whole lot of reason to install this on top of regular Ubuntu with the docky down the bottom. This particular distribution would be really good for giving to a new user who wants a new operating system, one that looks really snazzy, one that they can show off, gives them a fast user experience and also helps them along as far as the way Linux functions, both in, with the app shells enhancement and also with the custom file hierarchy. All the applications that you'd possibly want come out of the box with the inclusion of Banshee and Cheese over regular Ubuntu. We have all the multimedia codecs, the driver support and the fresh look of their own custom theme and I'd be happy to recommend this distribution to new users and to advanced users who just like the look of Moon OS and would appreciate the enhancements that they've made to the core system.